Have you ever wondered how they created those super cool and super trendy sticker animations that you see in motion design work? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey from CNS Media and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We're gonna be diving into After Effects to create those super cool and trendy sticker peel animations that seem to be running the game right now. After Effects might be intimidating, but this effect is super simple to achieve. In After Effects, create a solid background and make it any color. Add a paper or concrete texture if you'd like by playing around with any of the blending modes. Place what you want to use as your sticker in your project and adjust the size to how you want it. In the effects folder, search for the CC page turn effect and add it to your sticker layer. In the effect controls of that layer, select none from the drop down menu of the back page and change the back opacity to 100. You can select any of the fold positions in the drop down menu depending on how you want the sticker to fold. Move the pin to the top of your sticker and create a keyframe. Move your playhead to where you want the peel to end and move the pin to the final position of the peel. And that's the basic sticker peel animation. But let's do a little more. Create a new text layer and type whatever works for your project. Place the text layer under the sticker layer and watch it reveal itself. Another pretty cool animation you can do with this sticker effect is instead of it revealing something, you could have it half peeled blowing in the wind. In your effect controls, adjust the pin to stay stationary in a quarter peeled position. Hold the option and click the stopwatch in the fold position and type in wiggle bracket 5-20 bracket and now watch it blow in the wind. You've now just created the super trendy sticker peel animation and it is looking spicy. If you learned anything new from today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be releasing some new videos in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.